why you may want to use triangle topology instead of square topology. On the left side, I draw triangle topology and on the right side you see square one. Let's start with the left side. For the simplicity, I draw two links here, but actually there is one link and there are some assumptions. We are running OSPF between distribution and core layer. This can be campus core and distribution or service provider aggregation core. But we have four routers here and from these two distribution router, I am advertising 192.168.0.0 slash 24, same subnet. On the right side also uh, same, same network I am advertising from these two distribution routers and I am running OSPF. We have two triangles here, the uh, blue one and red one, and let's see what happens. Okay, uh, here, as you seen, this router can reach 192.168.0.0 slash 24 from this link and also from this link, and which we are calling this one ECMP, a cool cost multipath, and I explained in early video. This router will put this network through these two next stop, through these routers in the routing table and also forwarding table. So, if I, let's say, lose this link, if this link fails, this, this link still will stay in the routing and forwarding table. There will not be convergence event here. But on the right side, same thing, let's fail this link, what will happen? This router in the beginning, we assume by the way the, another assumption, all the links here, left and right topology, all the links costs are the same, OSPF costs are the same. So that's why here on the left topology, we put these two links uh, in the forwarding table as equal cost multipath. But on the right side, we will not, we cannot do this. Since here, let's say OSPF cost 10, 10, 10. Here for the 192.168.0.0 slash 24, cost will be 10, but through this path will be 20. So I will not choose this one. Okay. If this link fails on the right topology, I will, of course, uh, forward the traffic through this link, but after the OSPF convergence event. So it can take time. If uh, you don't tune OSPF for fast conversions, it can go up to more than 50 seconds with the default timers. That's why on the right topology, OSPF will wait OSPF to converge, which can take time. But the left topology, we will not wait for the convergence event. We will just change the pointer in the forwarding table and we will continue to forward the traffic through this link. This is one of the advantage of triangles compared to square. But another advantage, as you see in here, uh, to reach to 192.168.0.24, we just pass one hop. But if this link fails to reach from this router to reach to that network, I have to go actually to hop. That's why it will create also suboptimality. This is the another advantage we can say. What might be the another uh, advantage is fast reroute. For those who are interested with the fast reroute, please uh, stay tuned. I will definitely explain how triangle compared to square might be really fit for the fast reroute and how we can find LFA. Uh, if we, if how we can even maybe we cannot find LFA or remote LFA for the square topology, I will explain. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching me.